This is Berar. A small town in the Indian state of Rajasthan. It's an absolutely unique landscape. With the rocky mountains of the Aravali range and the surrounding forest of shrubs, predominantly gum Arabic trees. Beira is also called the leopard country, as it has the highest concentration of leopards on the planet. Leopards have always been a part of man-animal conflict in most parts of the country. But Beira surprises us by its distinct uniqueness, of absolutely harmonious coexistence of this apex predator and human beings together. There are many places in the country, where photographers visit every year, to make images and films on leopards. This place is however, very different, mainly because of the unique landscape and the thrilling experience that it offers. There are many leopard points, and you can access all of them, off-roading in 4x4 jeep, driving through the rocks of the Aravali range of mountains. This is now actually over 350 years old, the main building where you are staying. No, it was number four in India at one time. Up to there are so many better homestays there. We must be down the line. But at least at one stage we managed to get to number four, which is quite an achievement, yeah. Because everything here is authentic. Yeah. The photographs are all authentic and all signed by the rulers, you know. And luckily the connections are also. I mean, Bihar has got great history. Tremendous history. So, you know, everything is, that's how all the connections are happening, one by one. Pehle to Udaipur se start hua. Rana Pratap's fourth son, Rana Sheka, his name is Rana Sheka. He was given this belt to rule here, Pura, area. And then we are descendants, direct descendants of Rana Pratap. It is five in the morning. Our team is out, searching for leopards. Leopards are territorial and mostly found in and around their territories. This place is called Mines. The place has a lot of man-made structures, water holes and huge granite rocks. A female leopard, named Neelam, is being seen here frequently, with her two cubs. A few years back. Beira was granted a mining lease. Local conservationists made a huge effort to finally convince the government of Rajasthan to stop the mining. There has never been any incidents of leopard attack on any villager. And also the villagers have never killed a leopard for taking away their goats or cattle. The Rabari tribe of villagers considers these leopards as God, and they believe that Lord Shiva will bless them with more cattle and goats. There are approximately 65 to 70 leopards in Beira and Sena area, so sighting a leopard is not a tough job here in Beira. In the summers, you get to see them pretty early and they go back to their caves as the sun goes up. During the winters, they come out a bit late, but they come out, and see you for sure. Well, their territory, you know, the head lives, morning, the 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 So there's no rocket science actually. No, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. Earlier, nobody knew me, all these, that guiding on the chat. So I said, yeah, Sena, I need to go to Sena. और कुछ नहीं तो ऑफरोडिंग ही करेंगे लैंड रोवर डज ऑफरोडिंग या लैंड रोवर शो इज अ मैगजीन दैट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई हैड फाइव लैंड रोवर्स आई वाज अ लैंड रोवर हूं आई एंड फाइव लैंड रोवर्स इज क्वाइट अ बिट देयर आर राइजिंग नंबर ऑफ होटल्स एंड रिसॉर्ट्स अराउंड बेरार टू केटर टू द ग्रोइंग नंबर ऑफ टूरिस्ट्स 
Will it disturb the harmony of the man-animal coexistence? Very unruly. You know, somebody has to, there has to be some regulations. If there are no regulations, this area is over. With climate change, deforestation, habitat loss, man-animal conflicts everywhere, Beira still stands tall as a great example of a delicate balance between man and animal coexistence.